Today we are on Lake Fort Loudon with my three sons' outdoor adventures on their brand new houseboat. This is basically a tiny house on water that you can come experience and be out on the water with a fully self-sufficient house. It's a tiny house on water. It's pretty incredible if you ask me. And the interior is absolutely beautiful. And it's really interesting how this operates, which we'll get to in this video because I'm giving you a tour of this place today. And if you end up liking it, then you can head down to the link in my description and you can book this place yourself, which I would highly suggest if you enjoy anything water related or outdoor related or tiny house related. <laughs> Real quick, this video is sponsored by Mudwater. Mudwater is a coffee alternative with four adaptogenic mushrooms and Ayurvedic herbs. With one seventh of the caffeine of a cup of coffee, you get energy and can drink mud all day without impacting your sleep. They sent me their starter kit, which includes this tin that is 30 servings of mud. Very nice to have. And their impressively nice frother. <laughs> and also a free sample of their vegan coconut creamer. All you have to do is add a tablespoon of the mud to hot water and whatever else you like. I personally like to add nothing because I was very pleasantly surprised of the taste of this. I can drink it without adding anything in it, but adding honey is also very delicious to add to this as well. Mud includes ingredients such as cacao, chai, lion's mane, chaga, and cordyceps, which offers a huge range of benefits including helping your mood, focus, physical performance, and your immune system. It is 100% USDA certified organic, non-GMO. It is gluten-free and vegan, along with it being Whole30 and kosher. I mean, if you ask me, this has it all. If this all sounds really neat to you, I was very intrigued myself with this. You can try it today with 15% off their starter kit, just like the one I got, by clicking the link down in the description and using code Levi Kelly again, for 15% off starter kit. Now, let's head back to the tour. So once you book this spot, you come down to one of the marinas that they have this boat docked at, and the hosts will help you load everything you need to bring on here. I would suggest bringing some food and basically anything you would need for a couple day adventure out on the water. And then they take you and you set sail and they'll find you a really nice cove on this massive, massive lake. This lake is huge. The entire time I was here, I, nobody drove past us or even came into the cove that we are at. So it's been totally a private adventure, which has been incredible. It's like the next level of peacefulness, I would say. But you'll get to your spot and then they will anchor you wherever you want and then they'll leave you and then it's here for you for a couple days. Now, if you wanted to drive the boat yourself, you could totally move the boat somewhere else if you like to go fishing or just wanted to check out more of the lake, you're more than welcome to drive with the boat. I did not, I wanted to lay loose and just chill back here and not have to worry about all that. But if you're boat people, then this is definitely something that you would enjoy. I enjoyed it and I don't really consider myself a boat person, but this is very fun. Now along with the tour, it's basically a giant pontoon boat that is a tiny house on the water. In the front, you have your deck, and then you have an upper level deck. On the bottom part, you have your captain's seat, I would say, because this is where you drive the boats. Of course, everything here is what you need. It even has a garden, which is really cool because it shows you the depth of the water below you. It has a fish finder on it, and it has a map, so you can see where you can drive to, which is pretty neat. And then you have some couple chairs out here as well and a ladder that leads up to your second level when you climb up here you have a couple other seat options but the main thing up here is they store your paddle boards up here so these paddle boards are really cool you can just throw them in the water they provide of course the paddles for you and you're made to stand up on these paddle boards and you can go wherever you want exploring more uh, just yourself so it's a lot easier <laughs> to go exploring if you want and these are super fun my wife and I enjoyed these a lot they're really fun to have on this houseboat <laughs> I look so unathletic right now <laughs> And up here is also a water slide up here on your tiny houseboat. You can p turn on the switch and have the water flowing and you can slide right down this ladder and into the water. And it is pretty fun if you ask me. I mean, it can't get any better than this, can it? And there's also a grill up here on the second level as well. But 
at night, this is a great spot to get some good views of the night sky and your surrounding terrain, which is just absolutely beautiful. So now we can head inside through this front sliding door and check out what this place is all about. When you walk in here, it feels like you're just walking into a modern tiny house. Some houseboats have the boat feel. This houseboat has the tiny house feel and it is decorated and laid out very, very nicely. The first thing you walk into is your massive living room space. This is very huge and comfy. On the left side, you have a dining table over here, then you have this counter divider right here, and then now we're into the kitchen space. You have everything you need in this kitchen space as you'd have on a normal house on land, but this one's fully on water. You have a sink with running water, hot and cold. You have cabinet space everywhere. You also have a microwave up here, and you have a stove top right here if you need to cook anything and then of course you have a fridge and a freezer over here blended right into the cabinets which looks beautiful i think and you're not missing out on any luxurities while you're being on the water which blows my mind i think that is so cool and then in the cabinets you have your pots and pans and everything you need to cook with so that is very nice as well and then on the other side there is your living room space you have this beautiful brown couch right in the middle. You have the map of the lake you are on right above it. So this is kind of the shape of it. It looks pretty neat. <laughs> There's also a reading chair over on the right side and a cabinet with some movies and a TV right above that on this left side. So if you want to watch some movies, you totally can. And then there's your ladder, wooden ladder right here that leads up to your loft space. Yes, this is a tiny house. You got to have a loft space. Up here, you have two additional beds as compared to what we'll get to later in this video, the master bedroom and such, which is nice because if you're a family, there's plenty of sleeping options here. There's a total of four beds in this tiny house, which can sleep a lot of people. Now before we get back into the bedrooms and bathroom, you're probably wondering about how everything on this boat works, which I was very curious about as well. There is a generator on the back of the boat that generates most of the electricity, like for the AC units, there are two in here, which is very nice to have. And a couple lights and kitchen appliances are ran off this generator. And when you book this place, you're provided with all the gas you would need for your stay. So you can have the generator running and then when it needs filled up, you can just fill it up with gas again. But there's also a battery system in here. So if that's not running, some of the lights are ran off the battery and all the hot water is ran off the battery. So you don't have to have the generator running to have the water flowing and the water is heated by propane. So all the luxuries are here. I've been to some off-grid Airbnbs that are way less accessible than this house that is floating on water. We'll get back to the tour. The back half of this is your sleeping quarters and bathroom. You walk through this hallway, which is a sliding door that also has a latch right here. So whenever the boat is maybe swaying, these sliding doors aren't gonna go everywhere, which it doesn't sway much because the water is pretty calm. This is your first bedroom. It's this bed in this little nook area and it's super comfy and cozy. You have a window right here to look out into the beautiful views. And then across from this is your bathroom. You walk through this door and you have a full bathroom in here. A sink, your vanity, your toilet right here. It does flush like a normal toilet. It just gets stored underneath the boat. It doesn't shoot out into the water, which you might be concerned about. And then your shower right over here. Like I said, hot and cold water. And this is just a typical bathroom and it's very nice to have while you're out in the water. We'll walk out of that and now the last thing is I would say the main bedroom space. You have another bed back here, but there's a little bit more space to walk around and even storage underneath the bed if needed. You have a nice stand on each side. There's even a closet across from the bed over here. You open it up. Right now they have a bunch of life jackets and everything in here, but this is where you can store all your stuff and then you have your sliding door that leads out into your back deck space, which has just the generator back here, some life jackets and some pool noodles, and of course the engine that makes this boat move. So that's all back here. We spent most of our time in the front deck area though. So that is your tiny house on water, this houseboat located in Tennessee. And the hosts are super nice. They did a phenomenal job with all of this and props to them for being able to provide something this unique and cool for their guests. Now I know houseboats are pretty popular, but this one just takes it up on the next level, I would say. I've been to some houseboats myself, and this one is by far the best one I have been on, and the fact that you're on this beautiful lake is incredible. If you enjoy fishing, if you enjoy nature and being outdoors, if you enjoy boats and being on the water, or if you enjoy tiny houses 
then any of that fits into the category that you should come stay here yourself. I highly suggest it. Like I said, the link is down in the description. And guys, I will see you next week with another Airbnb tour video. Let me know what you think of this one. Did you like the houseboat? Is this something you'd like to see more of? Or do you want me to stay on land? <laughs> anyway, I'll see you next week.